and hello everyone! Well, the next Challenge Cup has started in Moscow. This time the tournament is very poor for athletes. And in general, due to the newly flavored problem with the COVID, it was also left without spectators. But in spite of that, today there were moments that can be discussed and we'll deal with it. Well, before starting the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos. And let's get started! On July 9th in Moscow, in the center of Irina Alexandrovna Vinrosmanova in Luzhniki, the Challenge Cup stage started. Where did the gymnasts from different countries go. Unfortunately, only 10 athletes took part in the individual program and only three teams in the group program. Of the disadvantages of the tournament, in fact, there is no struggle at all. Dina Verina is taking part here, who will undoubtedly be the leader everywhere. Her sister Adina Verina was withdrawn from the competition at the last moment. As the media wrote, the reason is lack of injury, due to which the coaching staff decided to give time to recover and not burden the gymnast. Well, as I realized, something was not entirely scary. But we decided to be warned and already proposedly prepare for the Olympics. At least I want to believe that everything is really good with Zarina. And not from us again, they hide another severe injury of one of the sisters. Well, instead of Arina, Lala Kramarenka performed today. It turned out like a full replacement for Tokyo is being prepared in the person of Lala. Well, about the fight in the group. I think Russia, understandably, does not compete with anyone, but the teams of Japan and Uzbekistan can still compete for places. So I think there will be more intrigues here. Another huge disadvantage of the tournament is, of course, that the competition is held without spectators. It seems to me that this is so difficult for the gymnasts and in general, the competition looks like a regular only tournament. Perhaps this gives the rise to the feelings of some kind of boring tournament. It seems that gymnasts are diverse, but perhaps the fact is that in this tournament, in fact, there is simply no competition for the leadership. Well, it is also possible that what was filled with one camera, or maybe just overlapped in general, a rather specific tournament. You can write in the comments as it went for you. Now let's go to the results of the first day. The first place in the all-around was taken by Dina Verina. I don't even think there are any questions here. Dina had a new suit for a ball today. Quite interesting, but I like the previous one better. Write in the comments how do you like Dina's new brand, brand new suit under the ball. The second place after the first day was taken by Lala Kramarenka. By and large, Lala has proven today that she is a worthy choice to go number three in Tokyo. Well, the disadvantages, I drew attention to this at the last tournament, but I thought it might be an accident. But today it was again striking that Lala was pressing it with the ball during the entire exercise breaking the breeze. That is, in theory, considered a mistake in gymnastics. For me, this moment is rather strange for a gymnast of this level. Maybe an excessive reassurance, or I'm generally at a loss what this gap in prevention is. The third after the first day gymnast was Elisaveta Polsnaya of Latvia. This unfortunately could not qualify for the Olympic Games, but today she performed great, and I think it will be great if she wins medals in this tournament. The fourth today was Ekaterina Vitineva, representing Slovenia. Unfortunately, today Katya had little hiccups, so maybe tomorrow she will still compete for a leadership position. Fifth place was taken by the gymnast of Kazakhstan, Sabina Bakatova, followed by Ekaterina Petisova from Uzbekistan, Iljana Taniva from Kazakhstan, and the seventh place. The eighth place is taken by the gymnast of Latvia, Nikola Ivanovska. The Armenian gymnast Silva Sergisian took the ninth place, and the Lebanese gymnast Alisa Sade closed the top ten. I'd like to say about it separately. Probably a few people know, but a year ago there was an explosion in Lebanon that destroyed a huge number of buildings and killed people, including the gymnasium, where the children were engaged. It was also destroyed. Fortunately, none of the children were hurt. Lebanon had a difficult period of adaptation to the new reality, and Elisa Sadek is one of the national gymnasts who will continue to perform after all of this. Now the situation in the country is served by the pandemic and the economic crisis, so the fact that Elisa continues to come to the competition, as for me, is real fit. In group exercises, the Russian team is in the first place. The girls have a new wear, and also an ambitious opinion about them. I didn't really like the suits. The black ones that appeared in the photo with Tess came to me more. Write in the comments which ones you like the most. Well, according to the performance, the girls admitted a loss today, but even with, with their loss, they scored more than 49 points. So it's even strange to imagine what they will get when they do not lose. 
exactly under 50. In second place are Japanese gymnasts. Here I really missed them very much and did not see the girls very much. The girls made mistakes and there was a loss. And by the way, they also adapted their wear. Also, I will not say that I like them a lot, but more than the Russian ones. Write in the comments how you like the Japanese suits. Let us discuss this since nothing particularly interesting has happened. And the third place after the first day is taken by the team of Uzbekistan. The girls decided not to be different from the others and also lost today. So maybe tomorrow there will be a fight for silver. In general, the composition of the group stage is very strong. Well, that's it for today, and tomorrow is another full day. We'll meet by tradition tomorrow on the channel. Well, and as you understand, that's it for today. Remember that I love you all, and for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Sasha Sinica.